first of all, I wanted to ask you, did, uh, did you already know the Willow story from the original movie by Ron Howard, or did you discover it while reading the script? I had seen it when I was young, yes. Um, and I loved it, and was also terrified of it. It's quite a scary film. I think that, that will remain as well. That, that will remain, yes. It's not very hasn't changed. changed. <laughs> um, no, I hadn't seen the, the film before we got cast in it. Um, Obviously, it was nice to be able to. It's, it's nice to be able to see where our characters come from. Um, yeah, we had the opportunity to watch it together as a cast as well, which was really cool. The story from uh, uh, by George Lucas uh, is um, a little more nature based uh, than the space heroes and villains that we usually know. So, what should the audience expect from the show? Definitely more nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although I think George, George Lucas is incredible at creating those worlds and. Even though one space, one is nature-based and magical, they still have very similar similar themes of you know who is a hero, a journey. Yeah. So there's a lot of that. I think a lot of comedy and romance and drama and action. It's kind of <laughs> a lot of selfish, <laughs> yeah, selfish with its genres. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I described it earlier as just a mini movies. That's what it feels like. Mm. It's very yeah, and a lot of fun and within a fantasy kind of concept is exciting and different and yeah. Now, um, Willow's story is m very much one of uh, fighting one's own demons uh, uh, and uh, um, wishing for a better world, making it a, a better world. Do you think this is why its message is still so relevant today? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, everyone's hoping to make a better world, I would hope. I think also universally Everybody has been through a lot in the last few years, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's quite nice to have to have this series to almost escape that a little bit. Yeah, and mm -hmm. have like a real sense of hope and yeah. mm -hmm. to find hope in these characters and to see that that there is so much potential in today's generation, young generation as well, and that if we band together, we're gonna create a beautiful place. Fight the good fight. And um, without giving too much away, what can you tell us about your characters? Um, ooh, what can I not give away? He has very fantastic hair, <laughs> both on his chin and his, uh, surprisingly, like himself, yeah. yes. Um, I don't know, I guess Borman is kind of the uh, adventurous, fun, fighting one who tries to make jokes all the time, but it's also to mask his, his emotions. He's trying to hide, I think, behind some of that laughter. Um, and he doesn't really know his place on the quest. I think he has his own idea of what he's there to achieve, but he keeps it cards close to his chest. But he's got a, he's got a heart of gold. Mm. I think, actually, Jade is quite similar to not knowing her. I think we're similar. I think there's a spin-off <laughs> coming very soon, actually. There's actually quite a lot of similarities. There really are. Yeah. yeah, although Jade, if you will permit me, is a little mm. bit more reserved and oh, yeah. There's uptight. I think we have the similar struggles, it's just it's coming out in very different, different ways. ways. Yeah. Um, Jade pushes everything down and she but she does know her place on the quest and she thinks I think she thinks Borman is just this flamboyant bit annoyance. Bit no? Jealousy? Yeah. No, I Definitely think a bit so. of jealousy. <laughs> no, yeah, so Jade is very jealous of Borman because he's so free <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> But Borman's Jade of Borman's Jade, Borman's Jade of, of jealous. Of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Borman's jealous of Jade's reserved and calm. methodical, calm, ninja-style abilities. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <coughs> and we all loved up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, th they actually... I think everyone on the quest really thinks that all Dove can do is cook great muffins for the uh, <laughs> castle. She's incredible um, without an oven. So she makes, like, really good food, and but they're like, we don't really... We don't really want you on the quest, so she really persists and fights for her space, and they eventually give in, and she goes along with them. <laughs> <laughs> so she's always kind of like at the back, being like, "Hi." Which is how all great, great friendships should be formed. Yeah. Just forcing until it was like, "Okay, I guess we're friends now." <laughs> yeah, she deals with quite a lot of adversity within yeah. the team. Except you, I feel like Borman really. Borman's just like a sort of kind of a not very intelligent chess player. He's always thinking of yeah. his next move, and he's not decided on Dove. Mm. He he kind of enjoys her presence as a 
catalyst for interesting conversations in, in the group and just to see what's going to happen. It takes pleasure in the chaos. I think he likes that she's a weirdo. Loves that she's a weirdo and loves her cooking. 